In today's video, I'm opening up a $100 Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery box. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery box opening and this is a $100 mystery box that I created myself. And I did this by taking many Walmart mystery boxes and adding them together. So first of all, we have a chaos box worth about $25 retail. Then we have a mystery box that doesn't really have a specific name, it's just mystery box from a couple years ago. These are about 15 bucks retail, we're at 40. Then we have two of these, the most recent, yeah, basically the second iteration of that last one. Two of these, that makes $70. And then we have a $30 Walmart mystery box from about two years ago, I believe. So add it up, this makes a $100 mystery box. So we are going to attempt to pull as much value out of these and we're going to see how much money we lose opening these at retail. And if you buy them now, they're probably even more like if you bought them on eBay or something like that. So we'll see if we can even make our retail money back. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, an ultimate rare dark magician, lava golem from DR1, and then a thousand eyes restrict from DB1. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know how much money you think we will make back out of our $100. Like it could be negative, you know, whatever it is. So let's just see if you guys are right. Hey, do you like fun? Well, if I got good news for you, I'm streaming on Whatnot this Thursday, April 27th. And the last two have been an absolute blast. I've sold a lot of awesome stuff, given away over $1,000 in cards. So you might want to be there to win something cool. Whatnot is an app where you can both buy and sell cards on a live marketplace. During live streams, you can do live auctions, buy it now, and even giveaways. I've personally given out over $2,000 in giveaways in my last two streams. They also have a marketplace feature where you could post things for sale even when you're not live. If you want to find my profile, just go to my link down below and search Ruxin in the app and you'll be able to find me and bookmark my next stream. And when you click that link down below for the first time, you get $15 for free to spend on the app. You can spend that $15 on me or other streamers like Simply Unlucky and Team Samurai X1. Make sure to come see the stream on April 27th. It's going to be a lot of fun. And thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, let's start off with this mystery box, the most recent one with the uh, pins inside, which everybody seemed to actually kind of like because the pins are just really cool. They've won people over, but uh, probably one of the best quality ones in terms of value. It's still not that great, but the pins were pretty amazing. I think there might be a dark magician girl one that we've never pulled so maybe we can pull that there's a couple of packs inside as well let's start off with the pin we have a ooh, a blue eyes toon dragon i've never pulled this one before all right blue eyes toon dragon that seems like a good start we'll take it one i've never actually seen in person so i'll take that and then a dimension of chaos booster pack very nice i don't i wonder if these pins have any resale value like that we're gonna add back i don't know we'll have to look them up on ebay see if there's any value but i could imagine them being a couple boxes they're actually pretty cool uh if you wanted to buy like the whole set you know put them on your backpack or something uh, i don't know how to do this pack trick i'm gonna guess i think that maybe might work we have a magic specter tempest let's see what we can grab can we get a ghost rare scarlight red dragon arch fiend we have done it many times before rank up magic we have a cradle cobra so no guaranteed foil because that is a 2015 set last set before they started guaranteeing foils next pack is a flames of destruction pack i still have never pulled imperm or ghost bell from this set so if you know if it happens i'll be very happy because that is Something I've never done because this is before we opened like cases at a time. This was a 2018 set. I didn't uh, go that hard back then. We have a Goki Octo Stretch. We have a Space Insulator. Perontron, the Seconds Light. And, uh, ooh, a Trickstar Bella Madonna. I haven't pulled this a couple of times. This is an ultra rare, but not the cards we were looking for. I really don't know how much value that Trickstar Bella Madonna is worth at, you know, at this point, but I don't know. Let's just keep going. Second mystery box. That went by really quickly. Yeah, yeah they're so short. There's only two packs inside plus the old, uh, the old pin as well. So let's see if we can get another nice pin. Hopefully not the same one, because I feel like if you get the boxes at the same place, you end up with the same pins. We'll find out if that's true or not. And there goes my theory. Well, then, actually, my theory is correct, I should say. Two packs. We got the same one. Uh, next one, we have a Hidden Summoner. It's actually an interesting set. This is a side set back when they did all supers and secrets in the set. You know, kind of a weird setup. We've done a video about that recently, but... Pretty decent stuff in some of these. Okay, so Siranui is actually a pretty cool archetype. We have the Yasha Skeletal Miyakushi and Prank Kids Battle Butler. So we have a secret rare. Prank Kids were good a couple of years ago. I don't know about now, but hey, not terrible. We'll take it. All right, next pack of our $100 mystery box. Okay, it looks like we didn't get anything big. We got a Flames of Destruction, so nothing too insane. 
Let's see if we can grab one, two, three. Let's see. Will this be the Ghost Bell or the Imperm for the first time out of one of these Flames of Destruction packs? Trans Familiar. We got Prontron. We got the Watch Cat. Memamaki. The Defrag Dragon. Fire Fighting. Daruma Doll. And a hey, Element Saber. La Plula Mana. Okay, we definitely did not do that pack trick right because, uh, yeah. Oh, we got a random common at the end. All right, on to this next one. So with these, you could like feel if the special edition was in here, which is almost always a uh, cybernetic horizon or whatever it's called. Uh, no, no, that's not right. The other one that had the fusion destiny in it. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this one has one, which means it'll also have a legacy pack, I believe, because you didn't always get a legacy. Yeah, one and two out of legacy pack. Uh, so these have the sleeves, first of all, which are really cool. There's our Invasion of Chaos pack, spoiler. Uh, these are actually really nice sleeves, so I'll be keeping these for, you know, either decks or shipping cards or whatever. I guess we'll start off with the <laughs> Invasion of Chaos pack, which is seen better days, that's for sure. Let's see if we can pull something big like a Chaos Emperor Dragon. Here we go. We have a one, two, three, four, and a flippity flop. Let's see. Chaos Greed, very nice. We have Crimson Ninja, Torpedo Fish. The Salmon Terror King, Sorcerer of Chaos, Borderline of the DD, Burning Algae. We've got Destruction Ring, not Ring of Destruction. I've never actually noticed that they did Destruction Ring, then Ring of Destruction. Very creative, Konami. And finally, we have Stealth Bird to burn our opponents for a thousand life points every turn, which is actually very, very annoying. All right, what's in the rest of this thing? It is a special edition of Dark Neo Storm. That's what it's called. I couldn't remember what it was called. But uh, yeah, Fusion Destiny was big in here for a little bit. But obviously, uh, yeah, that's not so big anymore. So it's not really that, you know, big for the value. Because we pull it, it's going to be like, it used to be 25 bucks for a super. There's a little promo there. But uh, unfortunately, not 25 bucks anymore. So we're just going to be opening this. And I really don't know what we're looking for, like, out of here, out, besides that. I think there might have been, like, one other card or something. There's no Ghost Rares in here, because this was in the uh, the dead period of Yu-Gi-Oh! collecting, where there just was not a lot of cool cards in the new set to, like, you know, like, high rarity or anything like that. So we got the Psy Reflector, a Destiny Hero Draw Hand. So I definitely didn't do that right. Where's the Super? Oh, the Miyakashi Winter was the Super Rare. Okay. Two packs left. Uh, Fusion Destiny, baby. Uh, also, Missing Mind was in here. That got hit as well. So this set kind of got beat up big time. Uh, I'm just gonna try this. I really don't know what's gonna happen here. We have Lord Cloud, the Storm Serpent, Speed Lift, Dino Wrestler, Chimera. We got a Ruxin Special, Solomon Great Finnick, Cliffhanger. We got the Dino Wrestler, Madolce, Teacher, Glossaflow, and the Dino Wrestler, Tekka. Okay, so this just didn't go right either. But hey, the Super ended up at the end, so I guess that makes sense. So far, nothing too big out of really anything at all. We've got one Ultra Rare, which isn't terrible. One, two, three, so... When I flip these, these ended up at the end. So is this the rare right here? Is it like a rare and then a hollow? I don't know. Let's find out. We have a Super Quantal Union, the Super Quantal Alpha, the Assault Sentinel, Crusadia, Sildolphin, Puzzlemino. Oh, Firewall Exceed Dragon. So I messed it up again. Firewall Exceed Dragon. That is an ultra rare. I've pulled this guy a lot of times as well. But yeah, I think this is this the cover card. I think it actually is, which is kind of funny because it's not good. All right. So, so far, these have started slow, but we have the Chaos Box. And if you guys have seen Chaos Box openings, there can be some crazy packs in here, like actually quality stuff. Hopefully there is a Stardust Overdrive and like a Legend of Blue Eyes pack, maybe a Duelist Alliance or something as well. So first we have our 2018 Mega 10 pack, which seems to be pretty common in these. Let's see if we can get something big. I really don't know what is big out of 2018. I wasn't really around then, so I haven't. You guys know, it's the uh, it's the dead period, so I didn't really follow what was popular around then. Okay, we got the Overdone Burial. That's a secret rare. Very cool. Uh, looks like a premature burial, but it's not. We've got the Arrival Rivals. That is a super. Security Block. The uh, Kaleida Chick. Very interesting. Lina. Amazon's Pet Liger, and the Defect Compiler. Okay, seems like an okay pack. Let's keep going. That's not what we're really excited about out of here. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, Hidden Summoners again. So we were getting a lot of Hidden Summoners. What will we be summoning and what is hidden? First of all, we have Prank Kids Rocket Ride. More Prank Kids. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. That's a pretty cool super rare print. I'll give it that. Uh, Yasha, the Skeletal Miyakashi. The Prank Kids Bow Wow Bark. We have more Prank Kids. And we have... Nephthys the Sacred Flame. So it's a Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys Link Monster, which I don't know if I've ever seen this used, but it is cool. I mean, Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys is a pretty cool old school card. All right, come on, Chaos Box. Plus, this was something big. We have a Metal Raiders. That's pretty big. Old school MRD. Let's see what we can get from this legacy pack here. One, two, three, four. What will we get inside? We have Niwatori. What's that mean in Japanese again? Can't remember. Cheerful Coffin. Lady Defei. 
cocoon of evolution. If you guys don't know, if you don't follow me on Twitch, we've been trying to summon, we, we have been summoning the Petite Moth, then the perfectly ultimate Great Moth on Master Duel. Go follow me, twitch.tv slash Ruxin34, if you guys want to see some fun stuff like that. I've been posting videos on Ruxin Live with, you know, some of the recap of that stuff too. So if you want to see us summon it in a Master Duel duel, make sure to check that out. It's been wild, because that card is very hard to summon. We got the white magical hat and... Little Swords and a Veil, so uh, nothing out of that Metal Raiders pack, unfortunately. All right, let's go. We have a Rising Rampage. Unlimited! No! So we can't have Starlights. If it was first dead, that would have been cool. But uh, yeah, no Starlights out of here because it's Rising Rampage. Unlimited, unfortunately. I forgot they even did Unlimited. Yeah, this is back when they actually did reprints with Unlimited. I guess Power of the Duelist or Power of the Elements is the only one we've had recently. It's more Glory to the Storm. It's a super rare. No need to take our time on that one because you can't really pull anything big. And finally, we have Maximum Crisis Unlimited. So this is also in the dead period, but you can pull an Ash Blossom, which is huge. So if we could pull that, it'd be big time. One, two, three, four. Let, uh, probably shouldn't do four. Let's do three on these newer ones. We have Zuderac, Cataroost, Mild Turkeys, ready for Thanksgiving. Wait, is that something on the card or is that like that? I don't know. Bug Signal. Supreme King, Dark Druid Worm. We got the, or Druid Dark Worm? Dark Dragon Dark Worm. There we go. Primal Cry. Soup, oh, Subterra Behemoth. I played against this on Master Duel the other day. I was like, that was weird. Uh, Sof Sapphire Swallow for the leader list. Pendulum Mucho, that's a super. And then we've got a Bujin Rare. All right, that's it for the Chaos Box. We are on to the final box, the mystery box, the large one. Like, they're very hard to show because they're massive. Let's see if we can get some amazing pulls out of here. It's been an interesting opening so far. Uh, you've been seeing how much we've been losing the whole time. Here's how much we've lost so far, or at least how much we've gained back, I guess. I don't know. We started with minus 100, and now we're at whatever we're at. So, yeah, it's not looking too good in terms of making our money back. I wasn't expecting that, too, but I figured it'd be fun to see. All right, so we've got a, a Yu-Gi-Oh deck, a mystery item, and five booster packs inside. Let's see if it's not the Machina deck. That would be great, because I have a lot of those already. Let's see that. Where is the deck? Oh, it's, it's already opened. Okay, so we have a... This feels thick. I guess it's a Legacy deck. No, it's the Nordic deck. Okay. Very cool. So we can get our, our Nordic cards out. Interesting. Next, we have a Fist of the Gap. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is the box with all the Figa packs. Ah, Fist of the Gadgets. How many will be in here? Will it be one? Will it be two? Even three, I've seen before. I'm guessing three. Subterra Fiendus. So there's the Subterra. Sign it optimization. The Green Gadget. Silver Gadget, and we have a Fire Fortress atop Liang Pink. Liang Peak. There we go. So that, that is different. Okay, Secret Rare. Yeah, Fist of the Gadget is not great. Okay, next pack. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We have a... This feels, this feels like maybe a Legacy pack. Oh, it is. Dimension of Chaos. Not technically like a Legacy like the reprints, but it is a 2015 pack, so it's an older pack. It's pretty nice. Let's see if we can get a ghost rare. One, two, three. I've been guessing on how to do this pack trick on these, and I have not pulled a foil, so I haven't been proven if I'm right or wrong yet. Fluff of Wings, we just need to do that to figure out where to uh, actually pull it. Psychic Blade, Gradle Split, we got the Despot 006, Raid Raptor Skull Eagle, the Performal Pal Splash Mammoth, and will we pull the ghost rare? No, but we will pull an Ignite Reload, which means we did do the pack trick correct. That's an ultra rare, which is not guaranteed in this set. We will take that. That's not bad. Few packs left. Let's go with the... Oh, Fist of the Gadgets. Back at it again. Figa showing its ugly face. Sorry, Figa. I didn't mean to call you ugly, but... Uh... Every time I see you, I think you're ugly. I'm just saying. We got the sub Fiendus, <laughs> Majesty Maiden. We got the Brother of the Fire Fist. Fire Formation Tinky. Not a terrible card. I mean, it's probably one of the better Fire Formation cards, but still not great. Okay, what else we got? We have one, two pack. This feels like Figa. Yep, Figa. Yeah, there it is. Third pack. I figured it would be three. I figured it would be three, unfortunately. We have a Green Gadget. Prohibit Snake, Boot Up Order Gear Charge, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. That's like one of the best cards in the set, so that's not bad. Fire Formation Ingen Secret Rare. Okay, I don't even remember that one, so whatever. I mean, Starving Venom is a great card, so we'll take that. Then we have, is this a Legacy Pack? No, it's Flames of Destruction. I've, we've opened so many Flames of Destruction. They really love to put those in, in like mystery boxes. I guess they have a lot of those laying around. I don't remember what we did for the pack trick and if it was right or not. So we'll just, you know, keep it up. Cyversal Cyclone, Crystal Master, Waking the Dragon, Defrag Dragon, Will oh, Called by the Grave. Great comments. I don't think it's worth a dollar anymore, though. We've got a Mama Maki. We've got Altergeist Pixiel, World Legacy Struggle, and will we get the Imperm or the Ghost Bell? Come on. 
Oh, an Altergeist multi faker. Actually, a good card back in the day. But unfortunately, not the two we're looking for. But still, really not a bad pull. And it's an ultra rare. So nice. And finally, we have one more pack. This is the mystery pack. So I think it's going to be. Oh, one boost pack, one card. So yeah. It's a mystery pack inside of a mystery box, inside of our $100 mystery box that we created. So pack inside of a box, inside of a box. Interesting. Let's see what's inside. Please be a legacy pack. Let's go. Sometimes these are not legacy packs, which is a bummer. Okay, what do we see back there? Oh, no. This is Code of the Duelist. Oh, no. Not like that. Not like this! Code of the Duelist! Mizuki X, a pretty cool card. Why would you put Code of the Duelist first edition? Oh, at least it's first dead, I guess. But wow, this is a pretty rough set in terms of like actual value we are not going to be doing much here so i guess we'll we'll do that hope for the firewall which is now eroded and not worth very much stack reviver and everyone hates it anyway orbital <laughs> orbital hydrolander i can never say orbital defense zone chosen by the world chalice twilight eraser what will we get heavy storm duster oh we did it wrong anyway okay ending off wow with a code of the duelist that's pretty rough here's how much we lost i'm sure we didn't make any money if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content just like this shout out to tone Fo show daxter jt cho puffins of doom ernesto deanda dizzy hoppus choice 333 Recycle, james jance tcg trusted cards america deutzer supreme sage 21 and another tie show ian musa junior barding mimic gecko and thomas mcclain thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace